How's it going everybody? Welcome to Crafting at 6 Coding and today I'm back with another video and um, this video is actually an update to previous video about how to add background image to Java application and um, a lot of you I mean yes I can tell that the resolution of that video is too small I can admit and now I'm back with an update I'm back with an update with a much more uh, better resolution for the video and yeah let's just jump right into the code first let's create the Java project <coughs> let's name it background image next and then finish and after that let's create the class class back image finish and then after that uh, let's see first we need to it's extend J frame J frame and that will create public back image we create this class. Uh, let's import the JFrame. And then after this, first of all, we need to create the windows for the application. And by that, I mean we're creating a JFrame, basically the title, the size, uh, the visibility, and everything. So let's just set the title first. You know, this video is not very different from the previous video on how to add background image on Java. It's just that this video is a much better resolution so all the steps that i've done in this video is basically the same as the steps in the previous video before so yeah set title a hey, back it's java app done and then set size this J frame size is doesn't really matter, you know, because at the end we're going to create the size for the content pane for the layout for of the image. So this size is just basically the starting point for us to create the windows. After we create the size, set location relative to um, no. no basically what this code does is uh, whenever you set the location of the windows and uh, and the uh, and the graphics configuration associated with this component is set to no basically it will make your windows appear in the center of the of the screen right and then after that, get set layout. You layout. Okay, now um, let's set the default close operation. J frame dot exit and close, and then set the visibility true set default close operation you know the difference is between whether you uh, use set default close operation is um, if you use the set default close operation then wait uh, let's just create the windows first <coughs> for place set static void main string args nope like that yes and then new back image let's see okay 
So if you use uh, the set of, uh, the set of all close operation on JFrame, whenever you click close, it will automatically terminate or stop the program. But if you don't use the set default close operation on JFrame, when you click the close button, it will close the windows, but it will not stop the program. You need to terminate it manually like this. So by that, you just need to add a set default close operation code into our main code. So whenever we click close, it will automatically stop or terminate the program. So we don't have to do twice the work. Okay, after this, you create the set layout. Um, we are done creating the, the windows. Now we need to basically add the image as a background. Okay, in order to do that, in order to add an image, we need to set the content pane. New J label, new image icon. Inside this, we'll have the. <coughs> Inside this, we'll have the location to our. So, uh, to our image. Okay. So first we need to import JLabel first and after that we need to create a JLabel uh, one and import image icon done and after that we need to set the layout for the JLabel set layout um uh, new flow layout and we'll import flow layout and then after that we create we call the new j label I want equals new j label and then we add the and then we add j label into the windows add l1 l1 okay and then after that we need to set the size of the image set size 500 by 5 by 500 and basically uh, at this stage i forgot about this basically in this stage um <coughs> you basically completed 90 percent of the code you just need to find the image on your folder now how can I get the link to the folder from the folder to my Eclipse IDE? First, you just go to the folder where your pictures pictures belong, and then let's just do Windows sample pictures right now. And I guess I want to do the desert. Let's see the desert. You just copy this link and paste it into your content pane. But remember, you need the backlashes needs to be two, or else it will never work. Add another backlashes in front of the in front of the in front of the first backlashes, and then backlashes. The last part of the location should be the name of your picture. Since the name of our picture is desert, GPG, and then. Just add desert the JPG. No, nope, you don't need to do caps lock. And then yeah, after this, it's 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 all done. We just need to test it out. Okay, let's see. Save a launch, and voila! Here we go. The image has appeared as the background of my application. You see, when I told you this size of the JFrame doesn't really matter because whenever you want to change the size of the Im uh, of the back of the image, it will automatically change the size of the windows. If you like, change the width to be 800 and the height to be 700, 
it will automatically change the size of the windows like this see and maybe let's just do another image let's just do the koala just for example the koala image name is koala.jpg and then let's run and voila here we go we have a cute koala as a background of our image now okay and then let's just close that and i guess that's it for today's video the update on to how to add background image into your java program or application application and thank you for watching and see you again in the next video and until then happy coding